Bula Vinaka and welcome to Ask Western Guide and Riggs with your hosts, Western Guide and Riggs. Hey, chuck in your dancing shoes and let's hit the floor because we're gonna cha cha our way out of breakup season. We're gonna show you how to own the fields and get your groove back just like Stella did. Hi, Talofa Lava, my name is Vernon Talam. I'm just about to teach the fellas how to do the bachata. Um, this is the dance of love. Do you reckon dancing can be like a breakup, like a bit of a give and take, bit of a let me see a twirl. When you're doing the bachata, it's all about the girl. And also um, having connection with your partner. I was dating this girl, man, and um, I honestly thought it was everything to me. <laughs> there was just rumors about her just being seen at Monaco Mall late night with someone else, and she was all dressed up. How did you end it? It was just away? sort of like, just we just stopped talking to each other. So just a double ghost? It felt like she kind of ghosted me, if anything. On a level of like, Shoulder shrugging is like, yeah, it's all good. We'll get over it. To like crying in a bedroom. Nah, that was it, man. I in was. A yeah, I'm like, man, I'm in the room. I'm listening to Mario. How could you <laughs> let somebody leave where I lay? I feel like that's like the main thing for anyone, really, is like experiencing the sadness or like the hurt and stuff like that. And you know, things like music really brings it out into you when you're listening to that kind of stuff. I go all out, like you know what I mean? Just yeah, I would find a song or like sit in my room, watch movies, mope around, just be all sad and that. Um, just filling it out for the next maybe two, three days is like one of my go-to things. It happened once, I was at Polyfest. I remember like, I was walking down, I had the, the pineapple ice cream thing. I've never eaten it since then because like, it always reminds me of the moment that I walked to that field and I saw that person or someone else. And I was just like, oh, yo, that's how it is. That's how we be dudes are like this, bro. I thought you were going to tell that story by that song you wrote. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote her a song about how much I didn't want to be with her. Hey, we're not meant to be, you know? And I feel like when she heard that, would have been like, yeah, sweet, all good. How would you have done it differently? Change the beat, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no. So you have, you've never had a missus, right? And then at one point, you suddenly have a missus, and it's like, whoa! And then they break up with you, and you're like, am I ugly? <laughs> am I Everything ugly, bro? The world. I didn't really know about it until maybe a couple years ago, like, you know what I mean? But now, I'm an advocate for that kind of stuff. One thing I always tell my family and my friends and stuff is to, like, once you feel something, like, just let it pass through. So if you're angry, bro, be angry. Yeah, Just man. go be angry over there, though. Like, don't bring it over here. <laughs> and I know why people avoid healing, because healing is boring and it sucks, but it's really good for you. What's your go-to? I was going through a real bad breakup, mm. and what I'd do is I'd find, like, a cafe that I was comfortable with very far away, and I'll drive for, like, an hour and a half to this nice. cafe, and then I'll write down all my feelings. Sabus, how you feeling today? Wasted heaps of gas coming to this. <laughs> Coffee sucks. For me, like, when I think back, man, boring. But you don't realise that these things are actually doing stuff for you, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would go and try and surround myself around heaps of people, like... And it sucks, too, when they're all, like, in relationships. <laughs> and you're just, like, third-wheeling it with everyone, and you're just like, damn, but... You know what's the other thing? It's all right being single. It's something else that I, I started to realise. Oh, I'm not single. <laughs> but, um, you know, hey, hey, thanks for putting that Like, I see my family members, I see my cousins in there, and, like, they're living single, and they're just living a great life, man. You know, they have to feed so many mouths. <laughs> is that, is that one of them? Man, one thing I would have loved to hear as a 16-year-old would just like, like, oos, like, you're enough. I'm 16-year-old you, okay, and then you it. tell me All right. what you'd say, okay? Hey, get up off the bed, mate. Hey, turn it off. It's not the end of the world, okay? You feel like, you know, you're 16 years old, got the world on your shoulders right now, but I swear, man, it's gonna get better. You know, if I was able to go back and talk to my 16-year-old I'm, I'm coming through with the ice cream, bro. <laughs> hey, uh, Western Guide, settle your hair first of all. Oh. Stop using Vaseline on your skin. And uh, just remember, regardless, you're the man, Luz. You're the man. That's it. Think so. Hey, these legs weren't built for dancing, <laughs> okay? I'll tell you that much. What were they built for then? <laughs> Speed. All right. <laughs> hey, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you join in on the Talanoa using the hashtag OwnTheFeels. <laughs> <laughs>